Hi, I'm Donna Price with the Real World Leadership Institute. And today I want to talk with you about bullies in the workplace or bullies in the leader or manager's office. Unfortunately, it's a phenomena that we see and it's different from a supervisor being directive, instructing staff. A bully leader intimidates and scares staff. So let's take a look at it. Bullies don't just exist on the playground, but they also sit in the manager's chair or the CEO office. Bully leadership is sharp, authoritative, angry, and feels uncomfortable to those in contact with it. Bully leaders believe they are rallying the troops, getting everyone on board, but that is not what happens. The bully leader barks out orders, threatens consequences, and uses strong, harsh statements to motivate people to do what he or she wants. The motivation that results is actually very limited, and that is what the bully leader does not realize. They're scary for people. So they do not need to do, they, they do what they need to do, but there's a sacrifice. The sacrifice occurs in the work performed. People do what needs to be done, and that's it. You lose out on so much as a bully leader. The staff limit what they do. They don't go above and beyond. They don't share their knowledge and ideas. The bully leader wants and needs to be the one with the great ideas. They don't want to share the limelight. The bully leader believes that their approach is working because they see some results. But the results are limited. What the results are what needed to occur. But the bully leadership style is reinforced and continues on because they see those results. What they fail to see is the results that could have happened with a more open, empowering leadership style. They fail to see the impact of their leadership on their staff. They fail to recognize the negative effects. These effects and impacts are costly to the company in terms of money, resources, and time. People are not empowered as a result. Bully leaders miss out on the great ideas of their staff. They miss chances to save the company money, innovate, inspire, and have a happy workforce. So what motivates the bully leader? They want control. They lack trust. They believe that no one will or can do the job as well as them. They act out of fear and lack of trust comes their assertion of aggressive behaviors. They also have a history of bullying techniques and using those techniques to control their world. It has a history of working for them and feeling empowered to them and maintaining their safety. The results of the bully leader are less than, less than that of the empowering coaching leader. This effective leader trusts that people can and will do their job. Through their empowerment, staff exceed expectations. The leader has time to create new business opportunities, nurture existing client relationships, and pursue greater results. A bully leader can shift and become an empowering coaching leader through intentional focus and work. But there are several steps they need to take to make this shift. They need to recognize that their bullying approach is not effective. They need to commit to change, and they need to work with a coach to learn coaching skills, creating a coaching work environment and empowerment strategies. They need to work with the team to transition from being bullied to being coached. This step is the hardest because it requires trust on both sides, and trust has not existed for this team or this leader in the past. The leader will have to build trust and be patient during this transitional time. Their commitment to change will have to be extraordinary to demonstrate their trust of others and their willingness to risk their own vulnerability. Bullying behavior can be shifted to that of collaborative leader with focused work on the part of leaders. Organizations continue to recognize the impact, the negative impact a bully has on their overall outcomes and work to shift the leader's behavior to, or move bullies out of the organization altogether. So take action today to shift your organization to one of empowerment and collaboration and coaching and see the results within your company change. The benefits are outstanding. You will see increases in employee performance, loyalty, idea generation and sharing, teamwork, focus, and implementation of strategic goals. This is Donna Price with the Real World Leadership Institute where we work with leaders and managers to develop and sustain healthy work environments.